Okay, we're going to make really quick and easy pot pies. Start with some of the seamless um, crescent dough. I hate these. I'm just waiting for it to pop open and it scares me. Ah. Mm. Is this supposed to pop open? I'm going to beat the whole thing up. Okay, I'll take this out. And it just rolls out. And I'm using these little Pyrex bowls. kind of stretch it out because it doesn't need to be real thick. Just stretch it out a little bit. The idea is to get these into the bowl. And just take it and spray the Pyrex bowl. Spray the bowl just a little bit. Put your dough in. Put it down in and form it to the bottom. And then just take it and take the edges off with a knife. And then just make a few holes in it either with a fork or a knife so that it, when you cook it and it bubbles up, it doesn't get big bubbles in it. It gets crispy. So we're going to do a couple of these. One for each of us. Form it down into the bottom of the bowl. And you can make these any size you want. Um, it seems like as we get older, we eat less and less. So, you know, I'm making fairly small ones. You can make bigger ones if you've got people that eat, you know, a more sizable meal than this. Um, so those are ready. Then we're going to take a can of beef stew. Like I said, this is the fast and easy. Like I said, this is the fast and easy way to make a beef, a little pot pie, a beef pot pie, if you want them more fresh made. So now these I'm going to stick in the oven and uh, I'm going to get them crisped up a little bit so that the so that they're crisp when we're finished. Okay, I'm gonna make another one just in case he's a little bit more hungry. And I'm gonna use just the scraps. And you know sometimes these uh, crescent rolls come already cut in the triangles, and you can use those too. The idea is just to have a crust in the bottom. Not necessarily that it has to be gorgeous because you're not going to see the bottom of this crust. You just want it to taste good. So I am just going to piece this one together. 
so that we have a little bit extra in case somebody does want more, because these are small. So you can always just piece them together into a nice area here. this one isn't quite as pretty, but you know what? It's going to taste just as good when it's done. Okay. I'm going to punch some little holes in it. So there we go. One package made. I probably could have got five if I'd have rolled the other bit of dough out. And maybe I will do that still and make another one and put it for leftovers because I hate things to be wasted. So I think I'll do that. So I'm going to cook these now. Okay, I put these on a cookie sheet and I'm going to put them in the oven now. And uh, bake them up and once they're baked then I'll bring them out and I'll fill them. Okay, while the uh, little pastry shells are cooking I am going to make some mashed potatoes to top it with. These are just little potato pearls, uh, basically dehydrated mashed potatoes. I'm going to get some hot water. Okay, I'm going to add some hot water until we can get this turned into mashed. It should be really, really hot water. Almost uh, boiling. I can get mine pretty hot out of my tap. Hot enough. And then it just, see they just start to come together as a mashed potato. And because I'm going to bake it, I don't want it too thick. Because I don't want the top to be dry. And they go a long ways. Now I've got this too full. I know, I do some of the stuff you'd think it was just for amusement purposes, because, yeah. Sometimes it's pretty funny that I get a little carried away and I make a mess and kind of a messy cooker. Just do things kind of as I go. There, now it's starting to be pretty creamy. Just a little more creamy for the top of the We have lots of mashed potatoes. Okay. I think that's just about creamy enough that it can bake and still be good. Okay, so now we wait until the, and I've opened the can of beef stew. Nice chunky beef stew that we'll put in there. I still like the old handheld can openers. You know, people like the newfangled ones, but I still like the old ones. Now, if I want to make this really fast, I heat up the beef stew first, and that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I am cooking the beef stew, and I have added some cream corn in it. You could add just some corn in it. Add whatever vegetables you want. This has um, potatoes and carrots and beef and kind of a gravy in it for the beef stew. I wanted some corn in it and some filler, so I put some cream corn into it. Okay, here's our pastry cells out of the oven. You want them to see how they're nicely 
just started to be browned and we're ready to fill. Okay, we're going to take our hot um, beef stew that we've cooked up. Don't fill it all the way because you've got to have room for the mashed potato top. This one's going to be kind of a strange little guy. I hate to waste any of it, so I'm going to try to get it in and still leave some room for the potatoes. Mm, maybe the dog will have a treat. Okay. Okay. Dog heard me. Dogs come running over. So just take little bits and just stick around on top. You don't want to do a whole thing in the middle because it'll just push it all out to the edges. Kind of start around the edges first so you can link the potatoes to the edges of the pastry. Yep, we're just about full there. About as full as you can get. There we go. And put the potatoes over the top. Again, around the edges. And little things full first. And we'll link it to the edges again. And we're going to stick this back in the oven and just brown the top of these potatoes. And then we're ready to eat. Now you could do it up to this point and just put it in a warming oven or keep it warm for a little while until you're ready to cook it if you've got guests coming and it's part of a meal. I said I may have filled these just a little bit full. You should smell this. It smells good. Yep, even Simba the dog thinks it smells good, huh? Simba, does it smell good, Simba? Huh? Does it smell good, Simba?